Guys, welcome back to another episode of the Retro Horror Academy. My name is Daniel Richardson, and today we're going to look at the year in horror in 1929. Uh, kind of, not really. If you saw the length of this video, you'll see it's actually kind of a short video. Uh, There's no horror movies that came out this year. That's right, we are finally closing the uh, the decade of the 20s out. All horror films have been, you know, ran through. We're, we, we are done. Uh, however... We still got to induct somebody into the Horror Hall of Fame. Uh, real quick, I do want to mention, I kind of left this out last week because maybe I shouldn't do this anymore. I don't know. Maybe I need to start writing notes down. I just try to hit these up top of my head. I know a lot of people pretend to do that shit, and then they are really, like, well-prepared and have all the notes, you know, to hand. I literally just sit down and run these things. I, every podcast I've ever done, it's just top of my head, go for it. And, unfortunately, you, you miss, miss up sometimes, and... Uh, not really a major deal, but I guess the one thing I forgot to mention last week was, uh, you know, we're getting out of the silent era now. And, uh, you know, the couple films that we were, you know, talking about last week uh, were actually shot with sound. However, uh, they were lost uh, in a fire, the audio track. So all we got left is now the, uh, the silent version. But a lot of people said that the, uh, you know, the old sound or talking version of some of these uh, horror films weren't that good to begin with and the silent version was the way to go anyway so that's why I just didn't I don't know it just didn't register in my head but after I hit stop on the uh, thing I was like you know what probably should have mentioned that but doesn't matter anyway so here we are guys we're at the end of the decade what a decade the roaring 20s are over and uh, yeah on the next episode we'll be going into the 30s but one more piece of business here and that is the induction of another horror icon. So, the person we're going to induct this time into the Horror Hall of Fame is, and I'm going to butcher this guy's name and I apologize to any of the living relatives of this guy, Segundo de Choman. Yes, Segundo de Choman. Uh, he was uh, from Spain and he was kind of considered the Spanish George Milas, uh, almost on par with the guy in terms of output and just the Ground, groundbreaking special effects this guy employed in his films. Um, the one thing, you know, the, the big movie that we covered on this show was uh, Haunted House, but he also did Haunted Castle, which seems like everybody had the title Haunted Castle at some point or another. Uh, and he also did The Red Spectre. But, uh, of course, Haunted House is the one that we covered. It won the uh, Golden Skull for Best Picture. Uh, yes, I mean, once again, this guy has gone down as, uh, as being known as the greatest Spanish uh, silent movie era director, horror or otherwise. Like, the guy is just top-notch. So, uh, yeah, I feel like, you know what, he deserves his spot in here as well. So, Segundo de Choman, if I'm pronouncing that right, welcome to the Horror Hall of Fame. So, guys, that's all I got left. Next week, we hit 1930. So, until then, uh, representing the Retro Horror Academy, I'm Daniel Richardson, and you're dismissed.